Hey everyone, welcome to Photon Engineer. I'm going to be doing a little let's try of this. So like as per my usual let's tries, that just means like it's going to be a one-off video just to check out the game. It's a game I could come back to later, but there are so many games coming out, I just sometimes just have to give some games like a, a short go. Um, but yeah, the developer sent out keys for this uh, a little while ago. Um, took me a while to get around to playing it, but uh, I'm interested to check it out. All right, new game. Loading models, loading level, loading some other stuff. In, in 2075, a space probe saw a strange platform floating in space near Jupiter. Hmm. The government decided to finance a space mission to send you on this platform to elucidate the mystery. After almost two years of travel, you finally arrived on the platform. Here I am. Oh, look, it's Jupiter. I'm really here. Okay. How did I get in? Seems to be surrounded by glass. Wait, I can I can fly up. Ooh, okay. Was that like a so if I double jump, do I start flying or something? Oh no, if I just hold space, I start flying. Okay. Uh, shift. Sorry, you want me to? <laughs> you're gonna teach me stuff, aren't you? Jump, ascend, hold space. There we go. <laughs> yeah, descend, control. Cool. I learned the controls. That was a nice and efficient tutorial of the controls. Uh, where are we going? I guess I'm going here. Interactive view. Hold on, was there something more specific I was supposed to go look at first? Who knows? Lots of very cryptic looking things. Oh, ooh, okay. Sure, you sort of just did that by yourself, but you did it, well done. Potentially get access to this if I do something good? Is this about ordering these operations or something? Oh, so you stopped there, interesting. Will you continue going up when I push you over there? Oh, can I do it afterwards? Okay, I see. Okay, so I can keep switching through them. This is not the kind of puzzle I was expecting to be in this game? <laughs> okay. Uh, I kind of think I want you to go first. I'm gonna, I want to make like a backstop here for you to hit, then do you, go, you go over there and then up there. Cool. <clears throat> That's a fun little puzzle idea. Uh, so that would take those over there, which I want. I want, yeah, okay, that's it. You, then you, then you. Hooray. Take. I found a schema that shows coordinates to another platform. I should be able to get there in a few hours for my space capsule. That's a log book, okay. Whoa, there's a lot going on here. Analyze. Found a black cylinder with strange symbols on it. I took a picture to analyze it later. Is this the obelisk? Took a picture to analyze later. Aha, yes. Interesting, so it's unwrapped here. That's cool, that's convenient. What could these mean? Different colored squares, they've all got, well, the two of them are similar colors. That's like yellow, that's orange. That's blue though. And they've got symbols next to them. Sometimes more than one. This one has a green bar next to it. Not sure that means anything to me yet. Will you? The fuses around the platform produce the oxygen. This environment seems intended for humans or similar species. Hmm, okay, when does something appear on objects? The front door closed automatically. I hope I will find a solution to get out. Okay, that was. That's the way I came in. That answers that question. We are resolving mysteries. So where did I climb up here? I mean, I guess I can <laughs> fly anyway. A massive decoration representing planets is in the main room. The planet does not resemble any known planets. It's very greeny yellow. So a photo showing a tool that seems to project the hologram of a block. Okay, another one of these. Wait, it might be that tool in there. Yeah, okay. Maybe I need that. I'm expecting other kinds of puzzles. 
Like, uh, as in, like, I've seen the, I've seen clips and screenshots of this, and I'm pretty sure it's there's like a whole other kind of thing going on here as well. So, so just get that one out of the way. Push that one down. Okay. Cool. Only one to do that. I found a mysterious tool, but I'm not able to turn it on. Keep it with me for now. Okay. Uh, so we've been up there, we've been up there. We haven't been into the one place that I was going to go into immediately and turn back from. Okay, what are you? I just went in here and I was like, this like seems like stuff I need to be tutorialized on and walked away. I guess I'm supposed to figure stuff out like this. Some kind of code required? Looks like it. Okay, quite a lot of options as well. This is the kind of thing I was expecting. Lasers, photons flying from here to there. And I'm going to engineer things. Okay, so this is the target. There is a blue laser as well, it's a blue target. There's a blank board. It's a door that won't open. Um, I don't think these symbols match up with my this at all, do they? No. I guess that all the shapes around the outside are yellow, the kind of pin shapes with like triangles and circles. I think that matches up with this. No. Huh. Have I looked at you yet? I don't think so. Do you have anything to say? I don't think so. Uh, do I have a code somewhere? I've been up there. Oh, oh, the door opens. When did that happen? When did that happen? I'm not sure. Fly to another platform. Can I come back? Fly to the last disk of a platform. Okay. Does it give me names for them later? And then I can fly to them by name? Tutorial, build a mirror. Okay, that's the kind of thing I was expecting. I don't know what opened the door at all. Um, red laser. Oh, was I seeing? Okay, I thought the no, that makes sense because before I was seeing like a mirror in front of the thing. So these are coming out of the the box. It was like a target. Okay, got it. Um, or well, maybe it is a target. What's this saying? That's a target. Do I see one of those? Yes, I see one here. And there's like a scale. There's a green thing on the first one. So get move the scale to there. How does one build a... Oh, I see. Uh, uh, rotate. Oh no, not that way. How do I rotate? Like that, okay. Cool. Press the button next to the orange door. Ah, that one. It's <laughs> looking there, looking there. Also, I do want this to go all the way up. Okay. So it charges up in some way. And then we've got another thing here. So all I found on the first platform is now turned on and allows us to build blocks instantly. Right, okay. I feel like there needs to be a little bit more to tell me like, oh, the tool turned on and that's why I can build these blocks now. Like it sort of just happened in the background at some point. Um, what was that? What else did you say there? Oh, I guess I have to go to the thing. The, 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 the produced matter to create these blocks seems to come from nowhere. I have never seen such technology. Okay. So we can just create matter. Let's do this. I keep expecting to be able to just click on these as well. Um, okay, so that wants to go down. What are you? Are you just, maybe you just, you don't move? That makes sense. Would that make sense? So you're the only down. So you're gonna have to go that way. Which you could do. Oh yeah, I get it, I get it. Do this. 
you push you along, it's a slightly more complicated one. You go down this way, you go down there. Cool. Neat. I found a schema that shows coordinates to another platform. I should be able to get there in a few hours with my space capsule. Okay, well, we already got to another platform. I guess these are the levels then. Each platform's a level. I don't think there's anything, is there anything else? Oh, there, there is. I found an artificial plant in an unusual color. I guess the species that built these platforms must have real plants on their own planet. Or is it simply a reproduction of a terrestrial, of terrestrial plants? Interesting. So there's also some strange lore going on as well. I assume all the plants are the same. Okay, off we go. That transition is a little odd. Like you just it just freezes and you can't move the camera anymore. Uh, okay, I guess maybe I'll figure out those symbols for that code later on. Double reflection. This is the interesting like way of setting up the game though, as though I'm like flying between these different platforms. Because like ultimately they're all just like little puzzle groups, <laughs> just separate levels. The way it's framed it makes it feel, even though like I'm not, I don't get to see what's happening between things, it makes it feel a bit different. It's cool. Uh, so blue laser, red laser. I can make blocks and I can make mirrors. Infinite blocks, two mirrors. So does that mean I can do something like where is that? Is that right? That looks right. Oh, and that's already directing the right way. And then. Uh, uh, you are not facing the right way. Hmm. Do I, in order to rotate it that way, we're going to have to climb up. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> uh. There we go. <clears throat> I think it remembered the orientation. And then I do this. Clearly at some point it's going to matter how far this goes up or or it's the, kind of like the Talus principle where it's it's um, it just wants me to have an unbroken signal at some point. I'll have reasons why I might have broken signals, I guess. I'm curious why they didn't go like this looks very much like what the Talus principle did. Um, in which case, why not have the like thing around the circle? I think that's a nice way of showing it. Uh, wouldn't that just push it? Oh no, because these are uh, these don't move. Ah, this will break a block. Interesting. It's cool to have these like multiple puzzle types as well. It's neat. I discovered the location of the next platform. The mirror puzzles have been pretty easy so far, but I'm sure I'm sure it's gonna to go to some weird places. Fly to the last discovered platform. Like, do I end up getting a choice to go back to other ones? Maintain open. This is where we learn about why it's not so easy to just do this. Why do I only have one of two? Why would I not start with two? Ah, because one's already down. Somewhere? Here. <clears throat> Understood. Is it just I'm gonna make sure I'm not missing anything? There's probably like more stuff to analyze as well. Oh, hello. Mm, I'm suspicious. Is there a door on the other side? No. Maybe it'll just be part of this. Okay, so I want blue to go to you. Red's going to be in the way, so is this a case of like blocking you? And then doing eh? Okay. And we've got red. Can can they go through the door? Hopefully that's right. Oh, but I need another one. Ooh. Oh wait, hold on. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. We've got you. Now we can bring you in. Cool. Now we've got two inside here. We can do red. And then we can also do blue. Cool. 
Cool. Let me press the button. Yeah, why why the button press? Hmm, like there might be like good mechanical reasons for it. Why not just like have this charge up and the door opens? Because this wasn't a charge you want, right? No, this is just like if you hit it, the door opens. Hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, okay, that's the door from before. The door from before. Uh, okay, so... Interesting, so... How is that ever going to do anything useful for me? Maybe I get you out of the way. So we also need a down to hit this. Huh. You would push that one up. If we make this go left, you'd go there. I think we want to fill in this gap, don't we? That's the trick here. Somehow. Ooh, yeah, somehow. Pushing it down is not going to be useful. So no, we're doing that and we must be doing this. If we take you up there... Well, I guess the other option is we fill that space in. We take you up and then you go left and down. Huh. If I sent you now, you get stuck in there. So the only thing I really can do is this. You would go here and stop. And you'd come over. Let's just do this. I'm not quite sure where it leads. Nowhere good, right? This. Oh, that moves. That moves. Ah, okay. That's what I needed. <laughs> I was not noticing that those were movable. Okay. A new platform has been located. Cool. This is actually pretty intriguing. This is pretty intriguing. I also didn't expect it to be like self-contained puzzles like this. I was expecting more kind of open, like Zachtronics-y style things, but... <clears throat> no, this is cool. It's a trap. This room is a trap. If I try and grab this, I'm locked in. Got it. Is there any way to... Ah, can I shoot through the window? Yeah, with this one. Okay. Okay, so... Uh, be nice if there's some better way of knowing where to place the thing. Like a shadow of the... Not that it makes any sense, but a shadow of the laser on the floor. You could like make it clearly not a shadow, like a dashed line or something, so it doesn't feel physically silly. We wouldn't want physically silly, would we? <clears throat> this is a fun idea. So I think remove that. And that's still there. Uh, then we've got both of them. That's probably everything, right? We have more plants. Uh, what are we actually doing? We are getting red to there. So you. And nope, I'm miles away from it. Here, there we go. Press that button. I also keep pressing E to press the button. <laughs> Let's click. Oh yeah, I can fly around. <laughs> I forgot about that. Everything on top of these buildings. It does feel like it would be a cool game to have little hidden navigation secrets in it. Uh, this is just available to take. Object taken. I found a box containing a picture showing four symbols. The console appears to be damaged. I presume it is a construction defect. I discovered the location of the next platform. Okay. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Oh, hello. Those are the symbols. Those are the symbols. Okay. And there are secrets going on. This is neat. This is neat. Let's go in here. Let's go back to the hub. Um, 
So two squares, line plus spaceship. Line plus spaceship, and it wants me to confirm. Okay, one of two done, it seems. Okay. <clears throat> Interesting. <clears throat> I wonder if the next code will also just be given to me or if we'll... Because like, I do always prefer it when codes are not just like, oh, here's the code, type it in the thing. Um, but like there's something in order to interpret the code. Uh, last discover platform. Okay. That many is a little odd. I keep thinking that like, oh, I just want to select like a number or something, but I'm always just choosing last discover platform. Like where's my just like pick which platform number I'll go to? What are these? Are they glowing purple blocks? I can't analyze these. Apparently not. Uh, hello. I saw a schema that seems to explain that the door, button, activates components having a specific symbol on them. Okay. So that symbol, there's this sensor. Oh no, this isn't an actual sensor. This is a picture of a sensor. Ah! <laughs> I, th I like it. It's all, it's like, sure, this one sticks out a little bit, but like, when you just stand in front of it, you don't really notice without like parallax to tell you. <laughs> I just thought it was an actual sensor. Um, so, what you're saying is, okay, yeah, there's a symbol on the button that's the same as that. Has that always been true? Probably. Um,. Let's try and understand these without clicking the thing. So that they've got a, a like a no entry symbol here. Da, 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 da. Hitting a green thing, green thing. Okay, no, that's, no, they're, they're ordered. Hold on. So hitting the green thing, there's like something there as well. What's that? That oh, that is that sensor. Okay, like with a blue bit sticking out in the middle. Yeah. I think. Um, what's the difference between one and two here? Oh, this is the the white line moving along slightly. Oh, so you're saying? What are you saying? It keeps going. Eventually, it gets to point two. No, it doesn't. It gets to one and a half. And suddenly, the laser passes through that and hits that. You what? What's this? They're all no entry signs. Okay, let's just do this. Oh, I've got a green thing. Where did you come from? So you're something to do with that. I still skim that explains how a delayer block works. It stops the laser beam that is receives its input release after a delay of 1.5 phases. Well, here's where timing comes into things. So what if I do this? Huh? Wait. What do you mean? So why isn't this, I guess if I press the button? Oh, wrong symbol? No, right symbol. Oh, click, not E. <laughs> so, see, the issue is that that's a do not enter thing. The the the. Wait. So if the symbols, if this is not hitting you, I press the button. Oh, the thing goes up. Interesting, I see. So the whole time, okay, I feel like what probably would have been useful, and maybe this does it. <laughs> so this is like one that I want to hit and never have a thing pointing at it. I feel like it could have been good to just have this like much earlier on, like almost like don't explain it, just be like, oh, this is a weird one that has only do not enter symbols on it. And for some reason, I mean, maybe that would be confusing earlier on. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like this alternative way of ordering that, though. Found a new platform location. According to the pictures, there's a platform with schemas explaining various things. Okay. Um, 
So then this. So you're saying, what are you saying? There's a delay thing, but like, I don't, like, it's not like the symbol suddenly starts coming through. So wh why isn't this just a case of me going like, uh, no, not E, click. This is not going to go. What? Oh, it did. Okay. It's not E. <laughs> I think I just pressed E again. Uh, I think I'm too slow to do this, right? Probably. So, so, okay. What are you saying? rotate you? Why would they do that? So it's currently broken. Can I not just like remove you? Yes. Wait. I don't understand what just happens. I right click this and nothing happens. Ah. Eh? This is right click to take back. Confused. I right clicked it, like trying to time it with when the line was here. It didn't get picked up, but it did seem to let the laser through. It said something about 1.5. Where was that? Let's have a look at that thing. It stops the laser beam that was received as input and releases it after a delay of 1.5 phases. In what sense it does it? Oh, you mean only once I press the button? I guess I can't test it now. Can I restart the, the level somehow? Hmm. I'll test it on the next level. Test it on the next level. Hmm. <clears throat> Whoa, this looks like a lot. Wait, how are you ever moving left? Oh, because that's... No, that's not movable. Uh, you break things, I see. Whoa. I'm not sure that's good actually. Uh, okay, you're going that way. Then that, then that, then this. Then this, then this, then that. That's cool. Neat. New platform has been located. I, yeah, I, I need, think I need to do another puzzle to understand what's going on here. Does the phase only begin once I press the button? That feels weird, like, how does the button affect the light? <laughs> uh, the what? Oh, that's the one you mentioned. Is this like hints? Ah, this is just all the things I found. Okay, all of the explanations I found go here. Cool, got it. Hmm. Fly to the last discovered platform. Let's see, missing mirrors. I am walking weirdly. No, I'm fine. I swear I was walking weirdly when I emerged out of there. Like I was pressing left, I think. I wasn't going anywhere. Blue. That's the exit. Blue. Blue. Uh, does this mean I have to lift you up? Oh, I guess I can probably rotate it like that, yeah. It's actually interesting that that hasn't happened already. How's it, I wonder how it's deciding which way to place the thing. Is it always, it might always be like an L shape from wherever I'm looking. Uh, nope, apparently not. <laughs> uh, so. Rotate is also left click. I think I'm definitely expecting E to be used more than it actually is. Okay, so you're there. There we go. Hopefully I've got enough stuff for this. So enough stuff to get in here. Then what? Green laser. Oh, analyze. Device hanging on the wall seems to regulate the temperature on this platform. 
What would you call such a thing? <laughs> what does it look like? <laughs> uh, green laser. I don't. Where the, oh, green's going here. So I guess this must be a phase, and then 1.5 phase. So it is somehow tied to me pressing the button, which feels kind of odd, but I'll go along with it. And um, clearly, I want to set this up so that I can send the thing in from the outside. I'll hold that open. Still has to come all the way around here, though. And be. Ooh. Oh, I put it in the wrong place, didn't I? No. No. Click. That's it. <laughs> I think like click, left click and right click should be for placing and deleting, and then E for should be the action E buttons. Ah, so I was thrown off by the fact that that was there. They were being mean to me. <laughs> it's pointing the right way. Okay. Uh, uh. Left click. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to take you in, and hopefully this is enough to get you... Wait, I've only got one. Shouldn't I have more than one? I guess, no, that does take all that. I only saved two there, didn't I? Oh, I guess I've got this one again. Yeah, okay. Okay. Well, that still feels like... Is that enough? Oh. <sighs> eh, there we go. I've got you. Oh, do we send outside? No. Maybe. So it's coming. We'll never hit this. We're gonna hit that. What? And go through a green block as well. So what are these gonna bring in? None, because like the blue laser has to come all the way around that way. Wait. There is another window there. Ha, huh, okay. Maybe we want the blue to come in that direction. Does that make it much better? The problem is this is put in this way as well. So it would be at least one, two, three, four, five. It'd be the same number. One, two, three, four, five, yep. Yeah. Hmm. But I need to have way more in there for the green somehow. Or I use them multiple times somehow. Although I'm not sure that would work, right? Because they have an, in an input and an output. So I could steal this one. That's one extra. Great. Then what? Yeah, no, I need another way of bringing this in for the ceiling. That is surely a longer route, although maybe not. This is sneaky if so. I guess if I'm going to assume that's what's happening, we can put you... Like, oh, it's going to close though, isn't it? Wait, so I, okay. So right now you're going there. I want to rotate this, but not lose access. So we need to reset this up from the outside. Okay, okay. Uh, am I missing one? I think I'm missing one. From where? Oh, I put it in there, didn't I? Okay, okay. Uh, uh? Uh, uh. You go with me. We then do. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> For a moment, I was like, oh, "What are we doing next?" Okay, got that. Why did I want that? So I could do some stuff outside. Oh, no, no, I don't want that with me. I want to position that so that we can bring things into the ceiling. That's very sneaky. 
Well, we're doing quite a lot of complicated stuff here all at once. Because uh, I think that is what's going on. Because it would be less to get this going upwards. Oh, is it, is it going to be lined up? Yeah, okay. And that's where the platform is as well. Okay, so... Can I put stuff on the ceiling? Uh, 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 that's all of them. That's not all of them. Uh, okay. I can put stuff on the ceiling, okay. Here. Neat. I feel like I've gone through the ceiling. No, okay, there we go. Cool. So now that's open. I'm inside with three. Well, four. One, two, three. Still not enough. One, two, three, four. Wait, five. What? I can't make that any shorter. There are seven in total. It is nice that it shows that number. That has to require four. That's the absolute minimum. I guess I didn't have to go through the ceiling, did I? I could have gone through. No, I did because the, the window's not aligned with that. Okay. We do have another. Oh, we go through the ceiling again. Oh my gosh, this is the sneakiest little puzzle. This is fiendish. Oh. Uh. Click, there we go. Like every time I have to do a little, uh, just I have to check. <laughs> Which button am I clicking? Okay, that one. Oh, this is so sneaky. I do like it though. Uh, right here, that one, that way, yep. No. It's very weird to like, like I'm pressing left click to place and then expect it to then continue pressing left click to do something that's completely different. Like, you should always avoid context sensitive controls if possible. Like obviously, if you've got a game that just has lots of controls and you don't want to have a million buttons of stuff, then you sort of have to do it eventually. But I don't know. Last resort. It doesn't feel like it's necessary here. Uh, so I guess I'm going to put a green thing right. What? Oh, I can't. Uh, I guess I'll do it above. That's not above. There we go. I think that is still going through, yes. And so let's have a look what's happening. It looks so does this after if that gets past that line? Yeah, okay. That's weird. But I guess I can accept it. <laughs> I guess I can accept it. I'll go in here, we'll do this. I I like having these afterwards. These are nice little um breather or I don't know because they're also tricky but like it's it's just nice to jump between two, two different types of puzzle so that'll push that down that'll go up the right I can see it's getting horrendously complicated though that'll go down then left presumably you will just hit this right yeah okay so I feel like you're going down and left is not a good idea immediately you'll break that and then go to that so you might be at the end we at the very least need this to go upwards. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking maybe we do put... Maybe we put you here. Then you go down and left. After having moved that down. These are getting tricky, aren't they? Then you go that way. Cool. Let's go to the location of the next platform. As per usual. Let's do one more, I think. Let's do one more thing. Okay, one thing I want to check though is like, is there some connection between... No, there's no symbol on the laser itself. Like the button... It's odd that the button affects... 
phase of the light. Well, no, the, 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 I guess the green thing is somehow, oh yeah, the green thing's connected to the button. Ah, I get it. I see. I understand. It's not about the light changing. It's about the green thing changing its property in connection with the, the thing on there. Understood. Okay. That makes more sense. I'm kind of curious where that's going to go because right now I've just been doing it. I've just been like placing it in front of the, the laser to delay it by 1.5 seconds or whatever. Uh, okay, last discovered platform. Let's do one more. Merge. Uh, okay, we can make colors. We're doing we're doing additive mixing, which is um, always nice. Bring green mix yellow. Uh, what is this? Is this the door? An unused door is leaning against the wall. Strangely, all the doors and most of the objects on these platforms are sliced for humans. How strange. It's very presumptive though. Like, maybe there are just other creatures that are a similar size to us. I mean, there are, even on Earth. <laughs> uh, okay. So yeah, you want yellow. How do I know you want yellow? Ah, because it says red and green, I see. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. So this is like a combiner. And how, how exactly does it work? They have to go in opposite sides of it. So does it have like three inputs? It's not there, is it? Eh. Yeah, okay. Well, two inputs, one output. Cool, I'm done. Hooray. <clears throat> so that, well, maybe you're just filling that space actually. That might be true. So this just needs to give right one. Right, we get from here or here. If you went down the right, that'd be good, but that would mean this would need to be filled in. You will break that. Which you probably want to. For you to get past. Mm, not quite seeing it right now. Okay, let's say you got pushed that way. Then we push you down. I need to somehow fill in this space or make you go that direction. Can I push you up with you? It'd be nice to be able to press R and Z here now that we're in a just like a standard restart undo type puzzle. How do I get you to go upwards? I don't think I will. I think I'm starting off like that. I'm kind of wondering if I'm doing this or then this. Oh, then you're pushing it there. Got it. <clears throat> Neat. Neato. A new platform has been located. Yeah, I think we'll stop there. We've gotten a little preview of the mechanics to come. This is actually really cool. Um, I'm quite tempted to come back to this um, at some point in the near future. I'm curious where it will go. And I like doing these like different types of puzzles in the different rooms. Um, and the little kind of not really secrets, but little extra things going on where I have to take the codes back to the, the hub world and all that kind of stuff. Very neat. Okay, cool. Um, let's go back to the hub world now. And that's where we'll... Uh, that's, that's, that's where we'll end this. Uh, yeah, so I guess we would need another code for this and that will open up something. Who knows what. Also, there's a, there's a laser here. Well, that's not a mirror, that's just a, a thing. Weird. But yeah, there's a room there. Mmm, mysteries. All right, yeah, very cool. This was a uh, photon engineer. I, I'm, I'm interested to check out more of this, so potentially we'll see it pop back up on my channel at some point in the future. All right, thanks for watching, folks. Goodbye.